Lion's Quest continues to be a success right here in Lawrence County, Alabama, as we empower our youth to make better decisions, learn more about themselves, select better friends, and understand the dangers of some of the decisions that they've been making. Some of these students will never return to Judge Terry's court. And we're so excited. But success is continuing. Let me tell you that our social worker in the school system, Allie Kitchens, uh, was facilitating our discussion concerning communicating. And the communication that she was teaching the students was how to express themselves using what? How I feel when something happens. When you do this, it makes me feel this way. Because I, and then how I wish that we could cure it. As they were practicing writing these sentences, these scenarios, learning about how to better communicate, one of the students in the class wrote, when I go home and there's no food in the pantry and we have no food stamps for the rest of the month, it makes me feel hungry and angry and I don't know how to solve the problem. That message then was delivered to the juvenile probation officers who delivered it to the judge who sent it to the Molten Lions Club. And now every two weeks delivered to the juvenile probation office is food to supplement those families who do not have enough food stamps to properly feed their family. Food insecurity is real. It's real in Lawrence County. It's real in Alabama. It's real in every state of the United States. And we, the Lions, working through Lions Quest have identified a way to reduce the food insecurity in our community. What are you doing to deal with food insecurity in your area? Could Lions Quest be part of the solution as we reach out to children who are at risk and help them to get back in the middle of the road, find greater success and move forward. Thank you so very much for what you do as Lions and thank you for being an advocate for our children. Until next time, let's continue to put smiles on the faces of those who are less fortunate.